Hey everybody, I wrote about a day plus ago that the attack on Oakland Mayor Libby Schaaf's home was actually triggered by President Donald Trump's comment that Oakland was a mess. And it was the way that he said it. Basically, he turned around, he said, oh, you know what? Uh, he was gonna, he was making a remark about Oakland and he turned around he wasn't even making a remark about Oakland, but what he was doing was saying, look, the um, problem is so bad in terms of what he was describing as violence in Portland and other cities that federal troops needed to be sent in. And he was listing, listing excuse me, um, other cities that... Uh, needed to, uh, he and his view, uh, have the assistance of the federal government, right? And he lists the cities in his talk, but then he says, and Oakland. In other words, it was almost as if he was saying, oh, well, let me add Oakland. He said, and Oakland. Oakland's a mess. Well, he said, oh, and Oakland's a mess. Yeah, just like that, okay? And there was nothing had, that happened in Oakland to, at the time, declare it a mess. But then lo and behold, that Tuesday night, what happens? You have a group of 30 or 40 people dressed in black with black masks attacking Libby's home. Spray painting projectiles. Her kids weren't at home, fortunately. But she was there and Libby thought, were gunshots. That's not funny. And people say, well, well, did you read the message? Did you read the message on the garage? Let me tell you something, okay? The message is about defund open police, the rent, all those issues are issues that the Oakland City Council has paid laser focus attention to for some weeks now and some months now, frankly speaking, and if you think about it in total, and we've been paying attention over the last year plus. And as the situation in terms of affordability has worsened, the Oakland City Council had stepped in even before the pandemic in a number of ways. So you got to give them credit for putting the efforts in the right direction may not be as fast as the decline because of the pandemic, but I give this Oakland City Council credit for its effort, and that includes the mayor. But the bottom line is the attackers presented this information as if no one was paying attention to it or no one had done anything about those issues, and that is simply not true. And that's why I discount their action, and I supined that their actions were really part of a political play, a right-wing political play, to finance people and make them look like they're liberal protesters, okay, who went to the mayor's house to do this action. And then they post on Indie Bay, or what's one of them, and say they are the, the yay, ya area comrades or something like that. In other words, everything is in the perfect line to make you think, oh, by the way, this is um, a uh, play from someone that then the right wing would call Antifa, right? I mean, it's a perfect setup. Why do this? Because President Trump, I assert, I assert, President Trump, or operatives on behalf of President Trump are trying to sow, continue sowing division and make it look like America's out of control. Joe Biden can't solve it. You know he's got a double-digit lead over Trump right now, don't you? Okay. And you got to put in Donald Trump because he's already the president and he's the law and order guy. And Donald Trump is desperate to win. And as everyone from Michael Cohen to you name it, who's made a comment 
in the way that I'm about to describe it has made it, Donald Trump is dangerous and will do anything to win. He wants power. The South, Donald Trump does not care about the South. He is not Southern. He is not interested in the Confederate flag. In fact, before he ran for president, he said that Confederate flags, Confederate statues should be in museums. He's on video saying that. All right? So people then say, well, okay, well, when someone says, I'm a right winger because I you know, wrote about this conspiracy theory, and it is a conspiracy theory. I admit that, of course. But to say that I'm right wing, I just got a huge guffaw out of that one. Oh, brother. And then, if you think what happened at Mayor Schaaf's house was bad. Guess what? In San Francisco, there's supposed to be, supposedly, another action by Antifa. And that comes from a source I cannot mention. That was, and it's not, it is a high-level Oakland official. I can say that. All right? And that's supposed to be in San Francisco this weekend, the fear is, hey, look, are they going to come over to Oakland and we need to protect ourselves? But all this is done to theoretically elevate President Trump's chances of getting reelected. That's all this is about. Okay? And it's completely wrong. Subscribe to Zenny62 and bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com.